celebration. You know, we want to go out here, we want to get a victory and you know, celebrate the end of the camp. You know what I mean? Because after the first game, that's when camp is really over. So we want to go out, execute, and uh, feel good about leaving that field and heading into Central Michigan. What are fans going to see out of the offense? You know, different things. Amazing. You know what I mean? Uh, our goal is to go execute and, and be sharp, and uh, hopefully that's what we can get the fans. But um, what do you think is the biggest improvement in the offense? Our timing. Our timing is by far the biggest improvement. Uh, everybody just knowing where to go and what to do at the right time. You know, there's not so much panic and everybody's running around confused. Uh, everybody's in sync. You know what I mean? And uh, I think that's the biggest improvement. You guys were fourth in the ACC in plays run per game last year. I mean, it's pretty fast, realistically. Um, I know the goal is to speed it up this year. How much faster is it really? Oh, well, I think last year we averaged about 70 plays a game. This year we're going to average about 85 a night. So uh, we've been working on that really hard, pushing the tempo. And uh, it just comes with working hard and, and trying to be better than we were last year. I think the trade-off is, is, you know, fewer plays. I mean, is that something you guys feel? Or is it simpler? And yeah, less complex? Uh, shorter, faster, harder. Mm -hmm. that's, that's another model we go by. So, uh, we figure that if we can do is get the same amount of work done in a short time and go faster and harder, then we have a better practice. And that's the way it's been going. This, you know, training camp, how much of an adjustment is there for you to like learn the mic position? Not too much. It's just different calls. Like, can I get the hands to get some more work? What are the differences between outside and middle? Are there, like, the so many, like, really big differences? It's like more command and middle, like, you know, like more order and middle. So. Okay. And you, uh, you mentioned Marquise Spruill. What kind of things do you take from him? You know, I know you got to see him a lot last year. What are some of the things you took from him now that you kind of use in your game, if anything? Uh, it's preparation. Uh, he stays late. Uh, I mean, like, watching film and I mean, all this going on the face. Coach Lee said that you maybe had to work on your communication a little bit, yeah. but he said you were doing a pretty good job with that. Was it tough at first, kind of learning all the different kind of you know, verbal stuff? And or like, what was that like? Uh, yeah, because I, like, I don't really like speak out loud, so you know, I have to work on being more vocal. So. Okay. And then, are, are you getting there? Or is that yeah, yeah, <laughs> definitely getting there. Are people like, man, you're shy off the field now, it's like, now you're yelling at us? Like, I'm, just, I'm just a quiet guy, but I'm just going to like, you know, yell at like, some more stuff like that. So. Okay. Does it help having Josh on the camera when you Yeah, you know, I have to uh, be just, uh, have to have my preparation for it as well. Because, you know, these guys depend on me. And this year, you know, we've got to go out with a game. So. And they go fast. You know, they didn't give us a definition. So they let us and Coach Hicks really, I guess, tailor, they tailored it to us. You know, if we were able to get lighter and still be just as strong, they wanted to go just as fast as we could. So, I mean, I think the tempo is going to be dictated by how fast the line goes this year. And, we're trying to go as fast as possible. I think you know, as soon as that the ref gets his hand off the ball, I want to I want to get my hands on it and get the play, get the calls out to Terrell. And let Terrell do his thing. You know? So I think if we're able to, you know, exceed, you know, what coaches are looking for, then I, I think we're gonna, you know, have a lot of success. Maybe more from your center line this season, but mm -hmm. what have you seen from Terrell and his role as a quarterback? Because obviously he talked about being a backup last season and really never knowing when he was gonna be out there for sure. And now he came into this year being the starter. What have you seen from him? I mean, he's a great leader. You know, he, he makes sure we're prepared. You know, it's you know, first it's my huddle, and then he takes over. You know, I get everyone set. You know, when he when he comes in the huddle, there's no talking, there's no nothing. You know, you get a lot of leadership with Terrell. You know, now that he's got a you know a couple start, a couple more starts under his belt, and from last season it was it was not. So I I think you you know he's very vocal. You know, he's gonna come out, he's gonna tell you no, that was not a good play. He'll bring us back. You know, if he, he feels like he didn't have a good a good ball on that, or the receiver didn't come out of great threat, or you know we're just jogging down, he, you know he'll bring us back. So you know I think he uh, a lot more maturity, a lot more leadership. You know he's very very vocal.